Welcome to B3 Comics. I'm Kurt. And I'm Matt. 2012 is over, so it's time to start looking towards 2013. 2012 had some amazing geek movies. We saw The Avengers, The Dark Knight Rises, The Amazing Spider-Man, Hunger Games, and of course, The Hobbit. It seems Hollywood is only going to continue to pump out these types of movies. So here's a few highlights for 2013. So we're going to take a look at it chronologically. And the first Marvel movie on our list is Iron Man 3. Lesson number one. Heroes. There is no such thing. Robert Downey Jr. is back as the brash Tony Stark. Gwyneth Paltrow and Don Cheadle reprise their roles as Pepper Potts and James Rhodes. But the villains this time around are new. Ben Kingsley will be playing Mandarin, one of Stark's greatest nemesis. We also know that Guy Pearce is playing Aldrich Killen, the creator of the Extremis virus. There's sure to be plenty of exoskeleton beef exoskeleton fights. Iron Man 3 comes out April 26th. J.J. Abrams presents the new story in the reimagining of the Star Trek series with Star Trek Into Darkness. Chris Pine returns as the legendary Captain Kirk. You think you're safe. You are not. He's joined by Zachary Kinto as Spock and Carl Urban as Dr. Bones McCoy. Zoe Saldana, John Cho, Anton Yelkin, and Simon Pegg return to round out the rest of the Enterprise crew. Perhaps what I'm most excited about is the villain. J.J. Abrams has gone out of his way to keep the details about the villain secret. It could be anyone from Khan to Kirk's friend Gary Mitchell. What we do know is that the villain will be played by Benedict Cumberbatch of the BBC series Sherlock. From what we've seen in the trailer, this is sure to be an action-packed movie. Star Trek Into Darkness comes out on May 17th. Is there anything you would not do for your family? Superman returns to the big screen with the Christopher Nolan produced Man of Steel. Henry Cavill dons the cape while Amy Adams portrays Lois Lane and Michael Shannon will be General Zod. In this reboot, Superman will struggle to find a connection to the place he now calls home. It seems like a classic Superman tale about inner struggle and the simple desire to help others. It's going to be a big year for Superman in both cinema and comics, but the Man of Steel is sure to be the high point. My father believed that if the world found out who I really was, they'd reject me. He was convinced that the world wasn't ready. What do you think? The movie debuts on June 14th. In Kick-Ass 2, we return to Mark Miller's delightfully dark world, where average Joes dress up as superheroes. Drawing heavily from the comic book series Kick-Ass 2, this movie will pick up a little while after the events of the first movie. Kick-Ass, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, has inspired other do-gooders to don their own outfits and patrol the streets. He joins a superhero team called Justice Forever. His colorful fellow heroes are played by Jim Carrey, as well as others. Chloe Grace Moretz returns as Hit Girl, who is forced to navigate the brutal world of high school social dynamics. All the while, Red Miss, played by Christopher Mintz Plass, is seeking revenge for the death of his father. If it's anything like the first movie, this is a can't-miss sequel. Don't miss Kick-Ass 2, out on June 28th. Hugh Jackman is back in The Wolverine. Based off the 1982 Frank Miller series Wolverine, Logan journeys to Japan to combat the Yakuza. While battling rival gangs, he learns the way of the samurai and falls in love. Mariko Ishida, Wolverine's love interest, is played by Tao Okamoto. She is the daughter of a Yakuza boss. I'm probably most looking forward to Logan fighting the Silver Samurai. Just like most Hugh Jackman movies, expect a lot of action and a lot of one-liners. The Wolverine debuts on July 24th. The last Marvel movie in the year is Thor, The Dark World. The God of Thunder is again played by Chris Hemsworth. Natalie Portman returns as his love interest, Jane Foster. This time, Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston, forges an alliance with the demon Malekith. Thor and his allies must band together to save the Nine Realms. Expected on November 8th. 
The last movie on our list is The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. Most of the cast returns from the first, headlined by Martin Freeman as Bilbo and Ian McKellen as Gandalf. Expect this movie to cover the party's journey to Mirkwood and the resolution of the dwarves' conflict with Smog. We will reclaim our homeland. We will seize this chance to take back Erebor! The second installment will be out on December 13th. Some other notable movies that didn't make our list include... Oblivion, coming out April 19th. After Earth, coming out June 7th. World War Z, June 21st. Elysium, debuting August 9th. Ender's Game comes out on November 1st. Hunger Games 2, Catching Fire, comes out on November 22nd. Thanks for watching B3 Comics preview of what movies are coming in 2013. When these movies come out, be sure to check back for a review from us. Before we finish, we have a question for you guys. What movies are you looking forward to most in 2013? Be sure to check back later for our previews for video games and comics in 2013. Please subscribe and thanks for watching. <laughs>